Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Jessica Smith TV. Today's workout is a bar inspired abs, buns, and thighs routine. Now we're gonna be on the floor, so make sure you have a mat or something a little bit cushy to lay down on, and let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna begin with the knees bent, the feet flat, ankles and knees are squeezing together, really engaging the inner thighs. Just take your hands light on the backs of your thighs and round back, nice and slow, lengthening into the mat here. So we're gonna start off nice and basic. Let's talk about our alignment for a second. I want you to think of keeping your pelvis parallel to the floor. Imagine you're trying to balance a wine glass right on top of it here. And we're just gonna take the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers together to give your head and neck some support. Take a nice deep breath in, keeping the inner thighs squeezing. We're gonna curl up over the rib cage, two counts and back. Now I want you to bring your chin into your chest and I want you to look straight ahead at your legs as we curl up here. So really keep the inner thighs pulling together and your elbows are wide, your head is just relaxing into your hands so that your neck is relaxed and your head is supported. Give me two more here. Exhale and inhale. Last one. Good, now let's take it up and hold that lifted position. So you're curling over the top of the rib cage. You've still got that nice parallel pelvis. And we're gonna reach the arms towards the legs, making a little circle. So your elbows are soft, the arms are kind of making a little circular shape. Now I want you to take the right arm back by your ear, switch left. So again, keep your chin to your chest. Avoid looking up, that's when we start to strain the neck a little bit. Almost tuck the chin down. Looking forward at your legs, you don't have to look at me. Give me four more alternating. Good, two more. Nice, now let's go ahead and release the head, release the arms back. Abs in tight, we're gonna point the toes and lift the legs to 90 degrees. Now I want you to just turn your knees and toes open, making a little diamond shape. I've got my tiptoes touching. Abs in tight, we're just gonna lower the right leg to the floor. Tap up, switch left. So the shape of the leg doesn't change. You're just gonna lower and lift it up. Really pull the abs in tight here. Make sure your low back isn't arching. Peanut, you're in my way now. I need to tap the floor here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Give me four more. So tap whatever you can. Two more. Of course, she has to go right there. Hold it, good. Now keep that diamond shape for me. Bring the legs in a little bit higher. We're gonna come down for two. Exhale up for two. So now we're gonna feel that lower part of the abdominal wall here. Kicking in. Inhale and exhale. I want you to think about zipping up through the pelvic floor muscles all the way into your belly button. Now your arms and shoulders are pressing down into the floor to help you counterbalance the legs and keep the back towards the mat. Two more. Good, last one. Nice job. Now let's hug the knees into the chest. Just relax. We're gonna curl up with that upper back again. I want you to lift up, hugging those knees in nice and tight, nice. So from here we're gonna let the back leg extend, front knee hugs in. Switch, really pull the abs in tight to your spine. Shoulder blades are completely off your mat. Bring the knee into your nose, good. Now let's take this faster. Give me one, two, one, two. Lengthen that opposite leg out nice and long, pointing through the toes. Give me eight more, six, and four, three, Two, nice job, both knees come in, relax your head down. Let's place the feet on the floor and we're gonna keep the pelvis nice and square here and extend your front leg out over the corner of your mat. Now it's not on the floor, you're gonna rotate your heel up, keep both hips on the floor. Front arm extends, back arm comes right behind that head. We're gonna bend that knee, bringing the heel towards the ceiling, lift the opposite shoulder, come back out. So we exhale two and inhale, reach it long. So think about coming back out on that diagonal line as you lower the head and the leg. Four more slow here, exhaling, inhaling. Turn that heel up to the ceiling as that knee bends in and up. Two more. Good, last one, then we're gonna go faster with this. Give me single counts, eight, seven, 
six, that's it. Five, you got it. Four, three, two, one more. Beautiful, release it. Let's switch legs, switch out your arms, extend that back leg, float it. Give me eight, nice and slow and controlled. Up for two, out for two. So what I want you to make sure of here is that this hip isn't lifting off the floor. Keep those hips nice and square. Good, exhale to draw that leg in. Inhale to extend. Two more just like that. Last one slow. Get ready, eight single counts. Here we go, it's eight, seven. Turn that heel up, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Great job, guys. Let's hug the knees back into the chest. So we're gonna curl back up. We're gonna keep those legs reaching in and out like we did before, but now we're gonna take the hands behind the head and continue with that little twist motion. In and out, reach it, inhale. And exhale, good. Open your elbows, single counts. One, two. So really keep that knee still pulling in towards your chest. Turn the shoulders here. Elbows are open, relax your neck. We're almost there. Four more, three more, two more, and one. Hug the knees, relax. Good, let's rock it on up. What do you think, have we found the abs yet? Okay, good. So let's move on and work a little bit more of the buns and the hips. So we're gonna come onto the elbow here. Your bottom knee can be bent. Top leg extends out long from your hip. So we're just gonna start with a little lift. Now we're gonna keep your abs engaging by lifting away from the floor with this bottom side. Your top hand can be on the floor for support or for more of a challenge, you can bring it behind your head. We're gonna to start to use the arm in a minute so it's not gonna stay here very long. Good. Keep lengthening. Now flex your foot out and up. Good, so right now my heel is directly underneath my hip. I want you to think up, up, straight to the side here. Nice. Now we're gonna point the foot, bringing the leg back, reach the arm forward, flex, bring it in front. So the arm and leg are in opposition to each other. Your body stays still. That's where those abs are gonna come into play. So you're reaching back to a little arabesque position, then sweeping the leg forward, flexing the foot. Good, now what I don't want you to do is let your pelvis rock back and forth. Shoulders and hips should be in a straight line, nice and steady. Reach long, press forward, good. Inhale and exhale, give me one more slow tempo. Now we're gonna make it a little smaller because we're gonna make it faster. Take it back and forth. Seven, good, reach it. Six, five, keep it going. It's four, three, two, one more. Beautiful, let's bend the knees. Let's come on up. We're gonna switch to the other side right away. So taking the legs out. Bending that front knee right in line with the hip. Top leg is out and we lift. So check in here while we're in this little pulse mode to, to check the alignment of your sides. You wanna lift the ribs, you wanna make sure that elbow is right underneath your shoulder, pressing away from the floor. Remember that top hand has the option here or here. Think out and up. Flex your foot for me, keep lifting, keep lengthening your energy out through that heel now. How are we doing, Peanut? She's working on her bone, not her abs today. <laughs> Leg that it lift. Good. Four more counts, then we're gonna slowly go back into that arabesque and sweep. Good, get ready. Abs tight, body stays steady. Slow first, inhale and exhale. So when it's slower, check your control, check your alignment. Hips underneath the shoulders, still pressing away from the floor with that bottom side. Good, and you can use a little bit bigger range of motion when it's slower, right? 
So really extend back, sweep that leg in front, inhale, and exhale. Give me two more, then we're gonna go faster. Good, last one. So when we go faster, you can make it smaller. Keep the body steady, here we go. It's eight, sweep it. Seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bring it in. Let's come on up to the knees. So we're gonna lay, not lay, we're gonna come down to the elbows. And I want you to just turn your palms down, bringing the knees together, keeping the spine nice and long. Your abs are in really tight here. We're gonna extend one leg back, and I want you to just cross it back to the back corner of your mat. So we're gonna trace a little triangle with that leg. We come up to the front corner, up to the back. Now, push the forearms into the floor. Keep your shoulders and hips as steady as you can. Lengthen that leg out and up. Lift it. So we're really working through the glutes, but we've also got those abs still working strong here. Out and up, so trace that triangle. Make it the same size every single time. Lengthen and lift. Good, you're almost there. Five more, four more, three more. Don't let your back sag. Two, one more. Beautiful. Now bend the knee in. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Take it to the back corner. Up to the front. Up to the back. Now check in with your upper body here. See if you're starting to lean to one side. If you are, I want you to fix it. Your weight should feel even between your right and your left forearm here. Don't lean to the side. Pull the belly button in tight to your spine. Press your shoulders down your back. All of that's gonna help you stay steady. Good, so don't think of kicking that leg up. I want you to lift it. Lengthen it, squeeze. Good. Five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, bring it in, let's sit back. Just take a quick little stretch here. You're doing great, guys. So we're gonna come out onto the stomach. So just lay face down on your mat here. Arms and legs are open into an X shape. And I want you to just extend up off the mat and hold that lifted position. So we're holding here. We're gonna bring the heels together and reach the arms back towards the feet, lower down. Back to the feet, lower down. So you're gonna squeeze. Think of making a letter X and then a letter I. Chin to the chest. So we're squeezing the inner thighs, we're squeezing the glutes. All the muscles that line the back. Good. Four more, squeeze, release, three, Good, give me two more. We're gonna hold this one up. Stay lifted, keep reaching. Shoulders down, chin to the chest. Separate your feet a little bit, give me a little kick. Little flutter swim. Chin to the chest, keep reaching your hands back. Stay lifted. Eight, six, four, three, to relax, sit back to child's pose, breathe for a moment. Great job, everybody. Let's come to a seated position. How you doing? You feeling the abs, buns, and hips yet? I hope you are. So from here, we're gonna come into a seated position with the back up tall. We're gonna reach back with the hands, but we're not gonna sink back into that. So keep those abs really engaged. Just point through the tiptoes. We're gonna start with the knees bent. We're gonna lift the legs up, tap down to really small range of motion. Good. So I want you to find that sweet spot in the lower part of your abdominal wall to help lift those legs up. Exhale, inhale lower. Four more, three more, two more, and one. Now I want you to take it up and hold it. We're gonna shift onto the front cheek 
and lift the back arm. Just hold it right here. We're gonna take the back leg, extend out, sit up. Now my back arm is helping me with this motion. And make sure you are on your cheek, not your hip bone. You wanna have a little padding here. So we come out, we zip it up. If you need more help, you can bring that back hand down on the floor again. Good, we have four more, three more, two more, give me one more. Hold it, rotate over to the other side. Here we go with that top leg, out, in, out, in. So you lean away from the leg as it extends, that back arm is gonna bend and extend with you, using those abs. Keep going, squeeze. Good, I know, I feel it too. Stay with me, nice and strong. Four, three, two, one more. Great job, let's release the legs to the floor and come back onto your back. How we feel, you good? All right, so we're gonna cross the right leg over the left, opening the knees into that little diamond shape again. Hands are gonna come back behind the head. We're gonna lower the legs towards the floor without touching it. We come down for two, you're gonna curl up into it. Inhale and exhale. So as the legs come down, make sure you're not arching your back. Keeping the knees wide, out to the sides here. Inhale back. Exhale and squeeze. Down for two and up. Try to lift the shoulders off the floor. Bring your chin towards your chest. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, keeping the legs crossed, really bend the knees, relax your head, bring your arms down by your sides. We're gonna lift the hips and extend the legs up to the ceiling, bend it back. So as your legs extend, you're gonna really squeeze your inner thighs together. You still have this leg crossed on top. And I want you to think of going up, lift. Tuck your tailbone. See if your hips can come off the floor. If they don't, that's okay, but give me that tilt up with your pelvis. We got eight more here. Seven, really squeeze to lift. Six, five, four, come on guys. Three, you can do it. Two more. Beautiful, relax. Cross the other leg on top. We're gonna do that again. Hands behind the head. Other leg is on top, take it down for two. Inhale, exhale, curl it up. Down, watch the low back. Don't let it arch. Down and up, good. Relax your neck as much as you can. Don't pull on the head with your hands. Keep on breathing. Good. Come on, stay with me guys. Four more. Three. And lift. Two. One more right now. Good, all right. Head stays down. We bend the knees in a little more. Extend and lift straight up. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Lift. Press down firmly into the floor. Shoulders and arms helping you out. Try to keep the neck relaxed and long. Promise, nothing your neck is doing can help lift your hips. So just let it relax into the floor. Good. Squeeze the backs of the knees towards each other. Zip those inner thighs. Lift it. Beautiful, we're almost done. We got five more. Four, three, two, last one. Great job, hug your knees, rock on up for me. All right, we're almost done. We're gonna finish up with a little pretzel move. So we're gonna start with one knee bent in front, other leg is back behind. Let's see if I can do this without hitting peanut. 
serves her right for sitting there. So we're gonna bring the arms in front, shifting the weight forward. We're gonna lift that back leg. Now the back leg doesn't have to be high off the floor. Just take the knee and the ankle up. So from here, we're just gonna do a little lift. So abs are in tight. I'm kind of leaning over my front knee a little bit. So a little diagonal away from the leg. Good, so just keep your abs hugging your spine. We're getting the hips and the glutes with this one. Really squeeze it out. Good. Now from here, we're gonna extend that leg out and come back with it. So you go to the side of the hip behind the body. Extend and bend. Good, your core is engaging to keep your body stable. We're gonna feel a little bit more and those side obliques here too. Good. Yep. Nice, stay with me. Four more. Two more. Now I want you to take it to the side and just hold it here. You're gonna lay all the way onto your elbow now. And I want you to tap the, the floor with your toe and then come up. So we're gonna bring the arm and the leg towards each other. Little lift and press, lift and press. Press the shoulder down, squeeze. Obliques and hips right here. Keep the bottom side working too. You're gonna to keep pressing away from the floor. Good, and lift it, come on. Almost there, squeeze. We have four more to finish. I know, my leg is on fire too. Almost done. Two more, we're gonna stretch it in a second. Whew, we did it, okay. Cross the leg over. Give that hip a good stretch. Sit up tall. You ready to do that to the other side? Yeah, okay. So let's switch. So bring it forward, take the other leg back. Leaning forward on that slight diagonal. Pick up that back leg. Just hold it for a second. Now give me your lift. Good. So long spine, long neck. Don't break the neck by looking up here. Chin connects to our chest. Abs in. Good. So this is just kind of like the wake up move. We're saying hello to the glutes. Good. Now let's bring it more into the side of the hip with that extension and bend. So you go to the side of the hip, then back to that rear attitude position. Good. So make sure that leg makes it back behind you each time. Good. Hang on. Five, four, three, two, one more. Now take it out and hold it. Come down to your elbow, tap the floor, top arm reaches. Here we go, lift them up together, tap. So it's not a huge range of motion, but it's definitely enough to feel it, right? Press down, extend up. So don't forget about that little extension. There's a little reach happening as that leg lowers. Reach away, reach out of that waistline. Very good, nice, stay with me. Here's your last four, two, one more. Yes, it's time to stretch. Bend the knee, give it a big hug. Woo, feeling it, oh yeah. Great job, you guys. All right, let's cross the legs. Just sitting tall. Give me a stretch to the side. You survived, you made it through. It was great. Let's go to the other side. Stretch out those obliques. Let's keep stretching the hips a little more. Just take it forward. Good. And let's come up to the hands and the knees here. Just stretching out the abs a little. Cat cow stretch, inhale, round away from the floor. Exhale, arch and look up. 
One more time, inhale, round. And exhale, release. Great job, guys. Have a seat. Grab some water if you need it. You deserve it after that workout. Thanks so much for joining us for today's workout and we'll see you next time.